Today, COD released the Season 4 roadmap and the blog post for the mid-season update, which comes out Wednesday for the US and, th and Thursday morning for us Aussies. We're going to have a deep dive through it. It actually looks pretty interesting, but there is something that I would do want to cover in this. So as we know, the boys are coming in this. They've clubbed the boys. So Vondel Battle Royale, I wonder if, um, I wonder how this is going to act because back in Rebirth, there was a mini Royale mode, but it was, um, obviously like a small circle and everything, but I'm hoping this is proper Battle Royale, like, um, our Maz type, like, full, full on, like, you can access everything, but we'll find out. It's a 72 player, to be 72 player mode, so we'll see, and it's supposed to have a dedicated quads, trios, duos, and solos. Whether that's true is to be determined. We'll find out on update day. But um, yeah. So it's just regular battle royale circle collapsing. So I guess it must be a full on because there's circle collapses and shit. So we'll find out. Um, it's pretty much the same as Resurgence, just uh, you know, normal battle royale, normal battle royale content, I guess you could say. Um, and the Gulag, yeah, looks interesting. I guess we'll find out on update day. Wine cellar and dungeon beneath the castle. I just call the school log is a three lane map designed for 1v1 combat. This the center features a circular structure and opening facing the two main spawns. Okay. This might feel fam this might feel familiar and it should it appears the architect's responsible for Vondel's gulag took inspiration from a certain prison complex showers. Oh well, the action will naturally funnel to the center, especially during overtime despawns areas. The spawn areas have their own facilities for operators to clean up and take cover. So it seems like a prison, like rebirth prison inspiration. It's, that's that's very interesting. Here we are, the playlist map rotation. So Apex already has this, um, with their big maps. They have they. I don't know how often it is, but I know that they rotate. Uh, I believe it's three maps, or it could be two. I could be dead wrong, but I know that they rotate their maps in between, and I believe that it seems like they're testing this for a resurgence, and they're already trying it, kind of. They've done it for two weeks. Duos and quads are uh, like one map, and then solos and trios are a different map, which I don't agree with. I don't know why they've done that. That's kind of odd. But, yeah, if you're not a fan of a shaker and you have a full squad, I guess you got to deal with it or something. But, um, yeah, in Warzone, there is the main El Marjor Battle Royale map, as well as two Resurgence maps, the new one map, Vondel, and Ashika Island, as well as some additional DMZ locations like Building 21, and I've heard that's only available on weekends. In recognizing this, as well as Call of Duty's two decade long history and its future, a map rotation system rotating resurgence playlist will be introduced to Warzone in Season 4, reloaded for resurgence modes only. So I imagine, so yeah, this will be testing. I hope this comes to uh, BR, but there needs to be a new BR map, which I assume will come with MW3 with the uh, Last Armors map. Um, after a certain amount of time specified in game, the, ro the rotating resurgence playlist will shift from will shift from Vondel to Ashiko Island and vice versa for a given squad size. Simply grab your squad or just fly solo and get ready to switch gears when your resurgence AO shifts from Ashika to Vondel and back again. The best resurgence squad should prove their metal by winning back-to-back -back matches in Vondel and Ashiko Island, and the Trillia League can go on winning streaks for hours while jet sets in between those two locales. Which is untrue, but I respect the marketing. So if you have one day where there's a shaker and you don't like it, you either have to deal with it or you just go play something else. And then once Vondel comes back, then obviously you can come back. But I wonder, I wonder what the database is like. I wonder how many people like you shaker and how many people like Vondel. I imagine Vondel is higher because I see, I see a lot more people playing it and viewership seems seems higher on it. So I guess we'll, I guess we'll see. But obviously they have the the data, so that'd be interesting. Occupation scan. So if you're a veteran. Like, if you've played OG, OG Warzone, like, end of Rebirth days, you'll understand what this is, so. Signal's Intelligence Contract. Another new feature to Vondel and Resurgence is a Signal Intelligence Contract, which appeared, which originally appeared in DMZ. If you haven't played DMZ, um, it's just, like, a phone thing. Um, you just grab a phone, and then you go around and hack other phones, pretty much, to get, to get some shit. I, I probably messed up the ex explanation there, because I've only done it once, or twice. I only played DMZ, like, very early days, I haven't played it since. But, yeah, that's pretty much what it is, and now it's coming to BR and Resurgence. And there's portable re re redeploy drones. Um, if you're a veteran, you already know about this. Um, except it's a drone, not a freaking um, balloon. Get ready to fly on your own. Wars of veterans know this works for the most part. The drone's miniature energy reactors help you ascend well above structures until it explodes. You can hop off the drone any time away until it reaches its apex to get maximum height. Which I don't, ag I don't agree with until it explodes. Why does it need to, why does it need to explode? Why? 
we you, adding shit in we didn't ask for. I mean, I get the, uh, I, I don't, I actually don't get the balance. It's sweet, but anyway, we move on. I like the personal redeploy drones in the past. A portable redeploy drone can only be deployed by a single operator. So if using cables attached to a drone, operator hangs onto the drone itself in order to fly. I said, yeah, um, I hope they reworked that because that's not how it should be. This Vondel only field upgrade will not be available on DMZ, so operators and interaction chance to use those boots on ground or a vehicle instead. Yeah, this is a bit of an L, to be honest, but we shouldn't be surprised at this point. <laughs> We've got the raid. Um, the only good one was episode 3, to be honest. I've heard the other two are kind of mid. I haven't played them, so I can't actually say anything, but um, most people only played number 3, including myself, because of the camo. Didn't even care for the raid until I saw the camo. I'm like, wait, this actually looks alright, and then... Did it. I have a video on that, um, which I'll leave a card up top right, if you want to check that out. But yeah, episode 4, the finale. I'm actually quite curious to see what this is all about. Vondel Waterfront Core Map. This will be an MP. So this is already a map, this is already a POI in Vondel, and now it's in uh, MP. It's funny how they wait till mid-season to release this, but that's all good. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. I imagine all the, I can already imagine all the fucking water combat in this. It's going to be crazy. New weapon, the fucking full auto shotgun. If this is broken at launch, bro, actually, I wouldn't be surprised if it was, but like, what the fuck, man? Unlock of our new battle pass challenge. Did you know, did you notice that, did you notice that classified sector in the battle pass you can unlock to mid-season? Um, I need to pay attention because I didn't care. Um, yeah, so that classified is, that classified thing, oh, right there, I didn't even notice that. Um, yeah, that classified thing is where, um, you can unlock the new weapon. So that's, uh, cool, I guess. And in that sector, you unlock an emblem, calling card, loading screen, weapon t weapon XP token, and the gun. These are all useless rewards, except for that gun. <laughs> I really hope they add, like, actual, uh, like, valuable rewards instead of just, like, useless emblems and calling cards, you know? But that's all good. So, 10 feet. 10 feet field upgrade. <sighs> Vought Internationals. Proprietary blend that is near perfect for another wanting to be a soup. A soup. Near perfect, of course, upon consuming a 10B grants one of the four random superpowers in your field upgrade slot. Though it doesn't act like a usual field upgrade, once you use 10B, you're then free to activate the superpower whenever you wish. But if you're eliminated from combat before activating the power, then like a normal field upgrade, it is lost upon death. Also, all traditional field upgrades appear to dispel 10B's effects. I'll try to test subjects picking up a munitions box. Dead Silence or any other field upgrade, lost that power or the temp B shots. Here are the four different superpowers that temp B can result in. Charge Jump, Electric Shockwave, Laser Vision, and Teleport. Superpowers in COD. Interesting. I don't know how anyone else feels about this, but I feel like they're trying to too much. I feel like this is a corporate thing and it's just like going backwards. Because this game was meant to be an F a realistic FPS Milsim game. What happened to that, bro? This isn't really realistic. <laughs> So, I don't know if I like this, but I guess people, I guess people will have fun with this. I don't know. Just the direction of this game is taking a whole weird turn. But charge jump, movement, just like Queen may even operator doesn't suffer any fall damage when it land from its when it from a charge jump. In fact, it deals splash damage to anyone or anything with a short radius of operator landing spot. This reminds me of um, we won't increase movement, but we'll give you a power to do it. That's it. It's just a big fuck you to anyone who actually wants to play the game, you know? Electric Shockwave. This shockwave sends a powerful electrical explosion that inches operators and AI combatants, as well as destroys vehicles and equipment. Seeing as this is a super EMP that, like other abilities, can help turn the tide of team fights. Laser Vision. Upon activation, an operator levitates and fires a laser beam that sears through enemy targets in whatever direction they are looking. It's just like one of many powers that Headlander has, but it does leave these open to fire. That's going to be broken at launch. I can already see it. Teleport. Forget normal on foot navigation throughout Vondel's. Teleport jumps an operator forward in whatever direction they face, which is extremely helpful when trying to escape a fire to move unexpectedly to higher ground. Now, unlike when Huey Campbell does it, your operator skin isn't affected in any way. Now, let's go in other words whenever this happens. As you might expect, to be is accessible in all Warzone players, including DMZ, except ranked play. The very best ranked Warzone players don't need to attempt being injection should heed starlights. Advice on their roads top 50. You don't need powers, you just need to be human. Diabolical. Um, yeah, you can read all that. But kills from behind is so dumb. Oh, the bundles, yeah. Spend money on a spend money on a dog shit game, yeah. Fucking cat. <laughs>
Buy our bundles. Bye bye bye. New Rose skin. And that is that. Man, what an interesting read. I'm curious to see how this plays out <laughs> upon launch day, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like us up for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.